I chose In Bruges because when I watched The Gentleman, I got a few recommendations. Well, Rock and Roll, I would say, is the one that was suggested the most, and I do plan on doing it in the next couple of weeks. Some people also suggested Layer Cake with Daniel Craig, and uh, In Bruges, this one, was brought up a couple times, and this one caught my attention the most because I loved Colin Farrell's performance in The Gentleman so much that I was just really curious to see more of his work. I don't think I've seen a lot of his movies, if I'm totally honest, and I don't know anything about this one. I've probably mentioned before, but I do like going into uh, movies blind, so... Um... After I killed them, I dropped a gun in the Thames, washed the residue off my hands in the bathroom of a Burger King. Get the fuck out of London, you dumb fucks. Get to Bruges. I didn't even know where Bruges fucking was. It's in Belgium. Bruges is a shithole. Bruges is not a shithole. Bruges is a shithole. Ray, we've only just got off the fucking train. Could we reserve judgment on Bruges until we've seen the fucking I place? know it's gonna be a shithole. Former hospital from the 1100s. Wow. Bruges is the most well preserved medieval town in the whole of Belgium, apparently. Coming up. Oh, what's up there? The view. The view of what? The view down here? I can see that from down here. Ken, I grew up in Dublin. I love Dublin. If I'd grown up on a farm, and was retarded, Bruges might impress me, but I didn't, so it doesn't. <laughs> Four eighty. Four ninety. Will you take four ninety? Entry is five euro. Happy in your work? <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> That's so pretty. I'd love to go for the Christmas markets. Whoa, right in his bubble, eh? Well, you lot ain't going up there. Pardon me? It's all windy stairs. I'm not being funny. What exactly are you trying to say? What exactly am I trying to say? These are a bunch of fucking elephants. Fight you. Come on, leave it, Fuzzy. <laughs> What's all that about? <laughs> A little shit. <sighs> this is the life. We're not staying here getting pissed. We phone him and say, Harry, thank you for the trip to Bruges. It's been very nice, all the old buildings and that, but we're coming back to London now. You don't even know we're not here on a job. What, on a job? Yeah. Here in Bruges? Yeah. Here in Bruges, on a job? Yeah. How much is this free resort weekend? It's free. And when is this weekend? It's this weekend. Uh-huh. And how much does it cost? Um, it's free. I see. And when is it? Why? What did he actually say? He didn't actually say anything. He's not gonna ring to the night. <clears throat> Let's go out and have a look at some of the, all the old medieval buildings and that. Because I bet they look even better at night, all lit up. He's like, just get me out of this room. <laughs> I used to hate history, didn't you? It's all just a load of stuff that's already happened. What are they doing over there? They're filming something. They're filming midgets. <laughs> Ray. <laughs> you see, you're supposed to walk like a little tiny mouse, you know? <laughs> He's so excited. Okay. He just walks on set. What are you filming midgets for? It's a Dutch movie. It's um, a dream sequence. Oh my god. Is that the only way you can make this a dream? Put a dwarf in it? No, Tito. Have you a 
ever had a dream with a dwarf in it. No! A lot of midgets tend to kill themselves. A disproportionate amount. Herb Villa Chase. I hope your midget doesn't kill himself. Your dream sequence will be fucked. How fucking cool. <laughs> It would piss me off so much. Five pints of beer and six bottles. No. He just swallowed that. Could you turn the light off, please? I've only been in Bruges one day, got a date with a girl in the film business. The Belgian film business. They're doing a film better than major. You ever notice people in movies, it's like they've never brushed their teeth in real life. Like at no point did he use water in that scene. He's such a child, my God. Oh my God. And I would do them without you throwing a fucking moody like some five-year-old has dropped all his sweets. I didn't agree to that. <laughs> and that file, do you know what it's said to contain? It's said to contain some drops of Jesus Christ blood. I'm gonna open the queue and touch it, which is what you do. Yeah. yeah. Do you have to? Of course you don't have to. It's Jesus' fucking blood, isn't it? Of course you don't fucking have to. Of course you don't fucking have to. Someone for money? Yes, Father. Who did you murder for money, Raymond? You, Father. <gasps> Harry Water says hello. What? I don't know, oh gosh, I don't know why that hit me so hard. <laughs> Obviously it's graphic, but uh, shit. Things you're taught as a child, they never really leave you, do they? At the same time, <clears throat> you know, at the same time as trying to lead a good life, I have to reconcile myself with the fact that yes, I have killed people. Most of them are not very nice people, apart from one person, just a lollipop man. He came at me with a bottle. Someone comes at you with a bottle? That is a deadly weapon, he's got to take the consequences. It's a case of it's you or him. If he come at you with his bare hands, that'd be different. I mean, that wouldn't have been fair. Well, technically, your bare hands can kill somebody too. They can be deadly weapons too. I mean, what if you knew karate, say? You said he was a lollipop man. He was a lollipop man. What the fuck's a lollipop man? <laughs> I don't know what that term is. Well, because of the choices I made. And the course that I put into action, a little boy isn't here anymore. He's dead because of me. That ain't ever going away. Unless... Maybe I go away. Don't even think like that. So what do you do, Raymond? I shoot people for money. <laughs> so what is it you do, Chloe? I sell cocaine and heroin to Belgian film crews. This movie, I think, is going to be a very good one. Fucking unbelievable. What's fucking unbelievable? 
happened? Well, I'll tell you what's fucking unbelievable, shall I? Blowing cigarette smoke straight into myself and my girlfriend's face. I don't care if it's a smoking section, right? She, she directed it right in my face, man. Tell me, how's saying? That's for John Lennon, you yanking fucking cunt. <laughs> a bottle! A bottle! Now don't bother. <laughs> Come back from the bathroom, like, what the fuck? Right, we're leaving. <laughs> uh, he's in the toilet. Can he hear? No. We'll send him out on an errand for half an hour, but don't make it sound suspicious. <laughs> you definitely gone? Yeah, yeah, he slammed the door. I don't mean he's gone. Go check outside the door. <laughs> So he's having a really nice time. I'm not sure if it's really his cup of tea. What? What do you mean it's not really his thing? What's that supposed to mean? It's not really his thing. It's a fairy tale fucking town, isn't it? How can a fairy tale town not be somebody's fucking thing? Do you know what he said? What did he say? He said, Ken, I know I'm awake, but I feel like I'm in a dream. Yeah? He said that? <laughs> yeah. I'm glad we were able to give him something. Something good and happy. Because he wasn't a bad kid, was he? Huh? Yuri. He'll give you the gun. Ring me on the public phone of Jimmy Driscoll's about three or four tomorrow after he's done. Hmm. Give me a call when he's dead. <sighs> That's my fucking girlfriend, you oh. asshole. Get down on your knees and open your mouth. Don't start being silly. Get down on your uh. ah. There's only place in that gun. You, you fucking boom! Ah. Ah. Can't see! Of course you can't fucking see. I just shot a blank in your fucking eyes. <laughs> Is this funny, your boyfriend? No. Ah. It used to be. I knew you'd have never shagged me normally. No, that's not true. I. Great! Now the whole night's ruined. No. He's so funny. What do you mean someone like me? You know, someone nice. <laughs> She's like, I am not nice. <laughs> oh. Why didn't you wave hello to me today when I waved hello to you today? I was on a very strong first strike glider today. I wasn't waving hello to anybody. Except maybe to a horse. Huh? What are you talking about? There's gonna be a war between the blacks and between the whites. Two monkey hookers and a racist dwarf. I think I'm heading home. Back off, shorty. You don't know karate. Ah! Don't say you don't didn't, say didn't have a cover. <laughs> Meeting Yuri? Yes, I'm Yuri. There are a lot of Alcos in the Koningang Astrid Park. You use this word, Alcos? Alcos, yes. Are you sure this is the right word, Alcos? Alcos, yes. Your, your friend was behaving rather oddly this morning. He gave me 200 euros to give to the baby. I don't want to be ungrateful, but it seemed like all the money he had. Ray, don't! Fucking hell! What the fuck are you doing, Ray? What the fuck are you doing? Nothing. Oh my god. You were gonna kill me. Oh my god. You're gonna kill yourself. What? I'm allowed. No, you're not. I wasn't gonna go through with it, right? You fucking looked like you were gonna go fucking through with it. I'm keeping it. And me? Give me my gun back. You're not getting it back. My mate tries to kill me. My gun gets nicked and we're still in fucking bruise. I'm gonna go join a train somewhere. Like to England? And Ray, you'll be a dead man. I don't want to be a dead man. <laughs> I killed a little boy. <laughs> I 
Ready? It's Ken. Listen to this noise. It's a train that Ray just got on, and he's alive and he's well, and he doesn't know where he's going, and neither do I. You've got the address of the hotel. I'll be here waiting. Because I've got to quite like Bruges now. It's like a fucking fairy tale or something. I never even realized that was him. Voldemort and Mad Eye reunited. Well, I guess this will be their first movie. What? It's an inanimate fucking object. You're an inanimate fucking object! You're Irish? Yes. You hate the Canadian. Huh? You hate the Canadian. That's him. That's the motherfucker. What? You hate the Canadian. Yeah. Canadian. Shit. We're taking you back to Bruges. Brilliant. Is he there already? I guess it's not that terribly far. Aye, aye. Prick. <laughs> <laughs> An Uzi? <laughs> I'm not from South Central Los fucking Angeles. I could see it in his eyes when I was telling him about the alcoves. Uh, about the what? The alcoves, the, the alcoves in the conning and The nooks and crannies. Motherfucker. Is he talking to me? A young friend blinded him last night. Raided? Well, to be honest, it sounds like it was all your fault. What? I mean, basically, if you're robbing a man and you're only carrying blanks and you allow your gun to be taken off you and you allow yourself to be shot in the eye with a blank, which I assume the person has to get quite close to you, then, yeah, really, it's all your fault. Eric. I really wouldn't respond. Just sitting there in the wide open, waiting for him. And this movie's making me crave a beer. <laughs> Put a load of gun to his head this morning. I stopped him. He... This gets fucking worse. <laughs> Let me get this right. Not only have you refused to kill the boy, you've even stopped the boy from killing himself. If I had killed a little kid, Accidentally or otherwise, I wouldn't have thought twice. I'd have killed myself on the fucking spot. On the fucking spot. I'd have stuck the gun in my mouth on the fucking spot. And I'm not being funny. I mean, no disrespect. But you're a cunt. You're a cunt now. You've always been a cunt. And the only thing that's going to change is you're going to become an even bigger cunt. Maybe you have some more cunt kids. You fucking retract that bit about my cunt fucking kids! Still leaves you being a cunt. You've fucking got that. That Yuri bloke's a funny fella, isn't he? The alcoves. What's he going on to you about the alcoves? <laughs> well, you know you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's go up the bell tower. He's really accepted his fate. He seems at peace with it. Today, the tower is closed. Yeah, cranky. Here's hundred for you. When are you gonna be 20 minutes? The tower is closed this evening understand oh englishman oh jimmy i'm really sorry for karate chopping you the other night i find it easier to believe and forgive you somehow if the two of you weren't laughing straight in my fucking face. What are you doing? I'm totally in your debt. I love you unreservedly for all that. Mm. Boy, I had to be given a chance. And fuck what I owe you. And fuck everything that's going on between us. And that's what I had to do. And I accept totally everything you've got to do. I accept it. Totally. Well, you say all that fucking stuff, I can't fucking shoot you now, can I? <laughs> you fucking cunt! Like I'm not gonna do nothing to you just because you're standing about like Robert fucking Powell.
He's helping him down. <laughs> Interesting group of hitmen with a lot of empathy. The guy you're looking for. The guy Ray. He's downstairs at the bar. I'm sorry, Ken, but you can't kill a kid and expect to get away with it. jump off to create a distraction maybe oh he's clearing oh god He's alive? What the fuck? How did he not die on impact? My gun. Ken. Where's my gun? I'm gonna die now. Oh. Oh, man. Jesus. <laughs> Running out of breath. Hey, you gotta go home right now. It's very, very dangerous here. Yeah. Right, go home right now. I won't get out of your way. You'll have to go through me. Yeah, it's way too precise. This is my hotel, so you can fuck off. I'm gonna go back to my room, jump into the canal, and see if I can swim to the other side and escape. You can shoot at me from there and try and get me. That way we leave this lady and her baby out of the whole entire thing. So hang on, I go outside, then I go which way, right or left? You can see it from the doorway, it's a big fucking canal! All right, Jesus, I've only just got here, haven't I? <laughs> One, two, three, go! Jump on the boat. I mean, oh, bugger. No way. You're way too far away. He could have tried lying flat at least. Why did he stay sat up like that? this what what oh it's the movie <laughs> the little boy the little boy Same thing. Yeah. He's 
said he would do it immediately. Ah. I see. Oh no, I... Oh my god. It's not... You've got to stick to your principles. at least in prison and at least in death, you know. I wouldn't be in fucking Bruges. And I realised, maybe that's what hell is. The entire rest of eternity spent in fucking Bruges. And I really, really hoped I wouldn't die. Sorry, my eyes are going to be all red and puffy a little bit from crying. I'm probably a bit of a looking like a bit of a mess, but wow, that was such an intense movie. Two things that's stuck out. Um, I didn't expect to laugh as much as I did. And I definitely didn't expect to cry. Like I said, I didn't really know what this movie was about. I knew there was some criminal acts involved, but I didn't know anything more than that. And when the movie first started, like the first 20 minutes, and I found myself laughing a lot, I was like, oh, I didn't realize this had like so much comedy in it. Like Colin Farrell was really good with his timing and just like the stupid shit that he would say. It just kind of made me chuckle a lot. I was like, oh, it was kind of light. But I could also sense there was a dark undertone, especially because just even the whole movie's kind of gray looking too, right? Um, but I didn't expect to get so emotionally invested. I just, yeah, I, I think like I don't have enough experience with, um, crime and action type of movies that now with the channel, as I've started watching more, I'm always caught off guard by how emotionally drawn in I get it, I get into these movies. I thoroughly enjoyed this. It was so intense. Uh, Colin Farrell, everybody did an amazing job. The acting was great. The story was really great. I just, I really enjoyed it. So I'm glad I listened to the suggestions in the comments and I will continue to listen to people's recommendations because this was awesome. I think the next one I'm going to do is Rock and Rolla. Uh, and yeah, if you have any other suggestions, please let me know. I uh, hope you enjoyed this and I also hope to see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.